السلام علیکم ایوری ون آئی ایم ایمن مقصود اسٹوڈنٹ آف الیکٹرانکس انجینئرنگ یونیورسٹی آف انجینئرنگ اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی ٹیکسلا اینڈ اے ممبر آف ریسرچ گروپ نیمڈ سنڈیکیٹ آف امبیڈیڈ اینڈ الیکٹرانک ڈیزائن سیٹ ٹوڈے آئی ایم ہیئر ٹو پریزینٹ یو آر پروپوز میتھڈ فار پیٹرن انالیسز ٹوورڈس ہیومن ویریفیکیشن یوزنگ فوٹو پلیتھسموگراف سگنلس In presentation, we will first discuss about introduction, then comes methodology, then we will look at results and finally conclusion. Let's discuss about introduction. In recent decades, security has become one of the challenging aspects faced by the society. According to one research, security incidents in world have risen by 70% from 2006 to 2014. The existing methods include passwords, codes and identification cards, but they can be lost, forgot or hacked. Then in 1999, biometric identification systems were introduced for this purpose. Some of the systems are discussed here. In 2008, hard sounds are used for identification using novel biometric method. The system achieved an accuracy of 99%. And images were used by Ferrer in his research in 2014 where he got accuracy of 96.71%. In 2018, ECG signals were used which were processed using wavelet heart thresholding and then classified using CNN classifier. This system achieved an accuracy of 99%. In 2019, LGA features were extracted from ECG signals and after classification system attained 91.96% accuracy. ATIC in 2019 extracted MP coefficients from ECG signals and then classified them using Canon classifier. An accuracy of 99.68% was attained by the system. All these systems were impractical and costly. They also used complex algorithms. So we decided to use photoplethysmograph signals for biometric recognition in our research as it is more keen, low cost and practical method. PPG basically is a non-invasive method that is used to measure blood volume changes inside a body. It gives you information about heart rate and blood oxygen saturation. Moreover, it is used to detect various heart diseases. The following figure shows PPG signal of a normal individual. Now let's talk about methodology proposed by our research. Our methodology was defined on four steps that includes data acquisition, pre-processing, feature extraction and then classification. PPG signals dataset was acquired using SS4L photoplethysmograph sensor of MP36 biopack system. The data was collected from subject's index finger of right hand in a sitting position. Each sample was 30 minutes long and digitized at sampling frequency of 200 Hz. Data was collected from total of 20 subjects including 11 male subjects and 9 female subjects. The following figure shows PPG signal of two subjects recorded. The acquired dataset contains motion artifacts, hence it needs to be pre-processed. Empirical mode decomposition technique is used for this purpose. It is used for removing artifacts and for region of interest extraction. EMD basically decomposes a signal into its constituent IMFs by forming upper and lower envelope. The original signal is subtracted from mean of upper and lower envelope. As a result, IMFs are formed. Higher IMFs have lower frequency, whereas lower IMFs have higher frequency. In our study, we selected first three IMFs, whereas IMF4 is rejected to avoid low-frequency motion artifacts. The waveforms of IMF1, 2, and 3 and PPG signal after pre-processing can be seen in these figures. After pre-processing, certain time domain and frequency domain features were extracted from pre-processed signals. Some of the time domain features include zero crossing rate, waveform length ratio, irregularity, sparseness, whereas spectral mean, spectral standard deviation, and spectral skewness were some of frequency domain features extracted. These set of features were then trained to different classifiers including support vector machine classifier. Support vector machine classifier is a binary classifier that is used to separate data points of two classes by creating a linear Decian boundary or a hyperplane between them. SVM is mainly used for reducing time and complexity problems. Now let's see the results that we attained during our study. Maximum accuracy of 93.10% was attained by SVM quadratic classifier with an error rate of 6.90%. The confusion matrix of quadratic SVM is shown in figure. The evaluation parameters of different classifiers in terms of sensitivity, specificity, accuracy and error rate can be seen here. Fine-tree classifier achieved maximum error rate of 25.5%. 
Finally, I will conclude my presentation by saying that PPT is much useful for security applications. It is more keen, low cost, hard to replicate. It has easy algorithms implementation and has less computational time. In future, we aim to extend our research by enhancing dataset in order to design highly reliable embedded system for real-time applications based on the proposed methodology. Thank you.